Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I finally was able to get to my X-Men collection. Recently moved on around some figures, so now I'm ready to show the update. This is currently my X-Men collection mixed with Marvel Legends, Revoltech, um, and Mafex figures. So, hope you enjoy. Let's get into it. I got here, first off, we have Vulcan. This is from the new body mold that they're using at the moment. He looks awesome. This is the sibling of Cyclops and Havoc, for those who don't know. Up here, next up, we got Gambit. This is my favorite figure in this whole collection. Uh, this is Mafex. Um, like I said, guys, I have a mixture of Mafex and Revolta figures because um, some Marvel Legends did not look cool to me or I just didn't like them. So, yeah, so that's why I got this awesome figure this is mafex he looks amazing as you can see looks just like gamma from the 90s this effect piece that he brings so awesome it's kind of cards energy so yeah one of my favorite figures most definitely all right so next up here we have a revolt tech wolverine uh this figure as well is not marvel legends like i said uh hey, this figure is really good articulation i really love it he is awesome. He has really cool face plates and stuff, so I really like this figure. Next up here we have, this is a Marvel Legends Rogue. This is from the Retro Box, I believe. Um, I'm really hoping that Mafex makes a Rogue, because we need an update, I would feel. Because they are making a new Rogue, but she still has the just the joint on the neck, where she has no movement, movement so... For me, that's kind of lackluster, so I'm really hoping that Mafex makes this figure one day. I really love this uh, character as well, so yeah. And then here we got Iceman. This is a Marvel Legends as well from the Age of Apocalypse. Looking awesome with some ice effects there and then right there on the wall, as you can see. Next up, we have Mafex Psylocke. This is another figure that I did not like for the Marvel Legends. This one was so worth it and worth the wait because she recently got a reissue so i'm super happy her effects are insane as you can see that's one of them right there her katana her face plates she looks beautiful as you can see so yeah that's another one that i did not like of the legends so here next up we have a revoltech cable same thing uh, i did not really like the legends this figure is just awesome and badass look at his huge gun this gun since it's a revolt take you're able to switch it into a sniper you can make it into almost any gun you want which is awesome and then as you can see in the holsters he brings his pistols it looks awesome so yeah there's cable next up here we have the vhs marvel legend cyclops the from the anime series uh i did remove the what's it called the shading as you can see around the yellow so it's just nice and yellow as you can see we removed all of it i kept it only on the blue right here and right there mainly because it looks cool um how it's on the blue it just complements looks like shading looks really really cool so yeah but i, I just had to remove it on the yellow because i didn't like it, it looked like a weird mustard color so <laughs> Glad I have this definitive version of the 90 Cyclops. Super happy to have that. Then here we have the animated VHS series uh, Wolverine. This is Marvel Legends as well. And as you can see, I did remove some of his shading. I didn't get around to moving all of it, but so far, that's how he looks. Looking awesome. Next up here, we have a Jean Grey. This is the Phoenix Retro Box, the brand new, pretty much reissue, if you want to call it, because... The original came out with a Cyclops 2-pack, and it was from Toys R Us exclusive, so that thing was like $300 and up after price, which is crazy. So I'm glad that they made this, and they decided to make it, because I finally have a Dark Phoenix skin gray. Next up, we have a Mafex uh, Magneto. This is the Age of the Apocalypse. He looks awesome and badass as well. I love the effects he brings, and I myself removed his ponytails he had it on this figure because this is the age of apocalypse magneto so those for those who don't know he does have a ponytail long hair 
So yeah, I removed it all from the helmet as you can see. So yeah, that looks awesome. Really love that black silhouette face that they made in the helmet. It looks really, really, really awesome. So yeah, really happy to have this guy as well. Next up we have a Polaris, as you can see. Not much to say there, she's awesome, but I mean, I would much rather prefer a Mafex figure of these, uh, some of these girls, female characters, because they're kind of limited when it comes to their articulation compared to the men, or the, the male characters rather. So yeah, but nonetheless, I like it. Next up here we have a Mafex uh, Jean Grey is from the 90s series before she turned into the Dark Phoenix. She looks awesome and she looks very, very pretty, as you can see. So yeah, her effects are pretty cool as well. Really solid figure. Here we have one of my favorite Marvel characters, or X-Men characters, Deadpool. This is the X-Force version. This is Amazing Yamaguchi, or Revoltech. How to get this figure in Revoltech form. Those are one of my, that's one of my favorite lines in figures. So getting this guy, the way he looks all buff and awesome articulation, the accessories, this guy, I just had to get it. Like, he brings katanas, he brings four sets of pistols, he brings knives, he brings bombs, he brings dynamites, he brings so many things, guys. He brings alternate heads and alternate eye pieces. This guy is just like the best, one of the best Revoltic figures out there. This is a 2.0 updated version as well, so really, really happy to have this guy. Alright, next we have, this is the newest, I forgot what it's called, but it's the newest Cyclops that came out, as you can see. Um, I put the jacket on him, it's a custom jacket. The reason I did that, because when I was younger, I watched a series called Wolverine and the X-Men, and that Cyclops in that show was my favorite. He was badass, he was awesome, he was like intimidating with the trench coat, so I had to get it. This guy looks awesome, he looks just like the one in the show. And then they added with the jacket, looks like him, so yeah. Really glad to have it like that. Next up here we have a beast. This is the gray beast, the retro box. Uh, this is the placeholder for the moment until I get the blue beast. He is still a little high in price, so I'm just going to wait for a little bit longer. But for now, this guy's awesome. His articulation is the exact same. He's just gray, so. Here we have a Colossus. This is from the Juggernaut 2 pack. He is an awesome figure as well, as you can see, it's Marvel Legends, so yeah. Then here we have the new retro box, Age of Apocalypse. Love this figure, he is awesome. His guns, he brings the tubes, because for those who don't know, the Apocalypse was a Build-A-Figure before. He included some cool accessories around his hands and the tubes. But they came with other figures, which was unfortunate. So that was a lot more. But this guy, this is the 90s look, looking awesome. He brings the tubes. He brings an alternate head, I believe. And then he brings this awesome gun right here. So you can see with the little blast. So yeah, glad to have that one. Really, really glad I waited. Next up here we have the movie Deadpool. This is the Marvel Legends. <laughs> I wanted to get them because the movies were awesome. I really liked them. They were funny. The action was awesome, the gore, everything about it. So I just had to have this figure. So yeah, you can see right there, looking cool. Next up here, we have a Pyro. This is from the Pyro and uh, Rogue 2-pack, I believe. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. He did have fire effect, fire effects, but I did put it on Vulcan, as you can see. I thought they looked more cool. So that's what I did, but they are there. So yeah. Here we have Sinister, not much to say, he's a solid figure, he just didn't bring any accessories, which is unfortunate, but that's alright, glad to have him still in the collection. He is one of the cooler villains in the X-Men universe, so yeah. Here we have Phantom X, I did take off his jacket, and see these are the guns from the Revolt Tech Deadpool, this one right here, as you can see, so that's why I said he brings a set of four, which is two right there, and this guy's using the other two, so that's awesome, glad there's variety and the the fact that he's able to use them is cool. Here we have Juggernaut from the same Colossus 2-pack. Juggernaut Colossus 2-pack. He is awesome. He looks so intimidating. I love this figure so much. So glad to finally have it. He looks awesome. Um, what's it called? He brings some accessories with some alternate hands and an alternate helmet and an unmasked version, I believe. So pretty cool accessories-wise. 
So yeah, I'm really glad to have it. Here we have a Quicksilver. Uh, this is from the Age of Apocalypse, not Age of Apocalypse, sorry, the Age of Ultron. So I did not really like how they made the comics version of Quicksilver. He looked kind of scrawny and something was off around the shoulders and arms to me. So for now, I'll just have this figure for a Quicksilver one. So happy to have that one for now. Here we have Blink with her accessories, as you can see. Well, she's a really cool figure as well, but like I said, the females are limited to a, to articulation compared to the male characters, so. But nonetheless, I do love it, so. Here we have the new Emma Frost that just recently came out in the windowless packaging. So you can see it right there, she looks cool. Nothing to say. Uh, I would just say her face is not the best, so I might end up getting either a custom head or one of the other Emma Frost previous heads, so I like those more. But I'm finally glad to have an Emma Frost figure, so. Um, here we have an Archangel. This is from the Deluxe box, I believe. He came with an alternate version for Apocalypse. Like I said, some figures brought accessories for him, which was unfortunate, but nonetheless, this figure is awesome. I feel he's due for an update on the body, but other than that, he is a solid figure. I really love him. And lastly but not least, we have Omega Red, as you can see. He is a Marvel Legend as well. He is a solid figure. He brings the the tubes that he uses to absorb energy or, yeah, like, uh, what's it called? Injure his enemies and stuff, so that's cool. Glad to have those. So, yeah, guys, here's one more look at my X-Men-verse, Marvel Legends, Revoltec, and Mafex figures. Really hope you like it. I'm super happy with this how how this looks. So like I said, at the moment, I'm collecting these guys. I love the X-Men. And same as you saw previously on my video, the Spider-Verse. So those are the two main ones that I love collecting. So yeah, hope you guys take care. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Have a good one, guys.